Hey there, future air traffic controller. Are you ready to crush the ATSA test and secure that tentative offer letter? You're in the right place. In this video, I'll break down each section of the test with realistic examples and give you proven strategies to boost your score so you can take your first step toward an exciting new career. But before we jump into sample questions, let's quickly go over the ATSA test itself because some important changes have been made recently. The air traffic skills assessment takes 2 hours and 50 minutes to complete. Plus, you get up to 30 minutes of break time, which you can divide into smaller chunks throughout the test. My tip? Use those breaks wisely. Step away, take a deep breath, drink some water, and reset your focus, especially after tough sections. And here's something crucial you need to know. As of 2025, the FAA only selects candidates who score in the well-qualified range. The FAA has made this very clear in their latest ATC job opening announcement. The other score categories are qualified and not referred. If you fall into these categories, you won't receive a tentative offer letter, and you'll have to wait for a new bid to open before you can reapply and retake the test. But you're watching this video because you're aiming for a well-qualified score and nothing less, right? All right, now that you know the stakes, let's break down each section of the test, and I'll show you exactly how to tackle them like a pro. You have seven sections on the test, and this is their order of appearance. The first four subtests are interactive and gamified, meaning they test your skills in a fast-paced, hands-on way. But the last three subtests? These are more traditional, with multiple choice and multi-select questions. And here's the best part. All the examples I'll show today come from our complete practice package, which highly resembles the actual test. I've linked it below in the description and pinned comment, so if you want to maximize your prep, go check it out. All right, let's go over the first section of the test and how you can master it. The test starts by showing you two numbers between 1 and 9 and asking you to type in their difference. Right after that, a new number appears and you'll need to calculate the difference between this number and the previous one. This pattern continues with each new number requiring you to quickly determine the difference from the one before it. There are two main challenges in this test. First, the numbers change fast, so you need to stay fully focused to keep your accuracy sharp. Second, it's easy to mix up the last number shown with the answer you just typed. Staying mindful of the sequence is key to avoiding mistakes. But don't worry, the more you practice, the sharper and more accurate you'll get. After a while, you'll notice yourself typing the answer automatically without even thinking about it. Now, let's move on to the second section, another memory test, but this one's even trickier. This section has three parts, each getting progressively harder with 10 questions per part. In the first part, you'll see variables like A, B, and C, each assigned a specific numerical value. After a brief display, the variables will reappear in a randomized order and you'll need to recall and input their correct values. In the next parts, you'll face simple equations involving these variables. Your task is to solve for the unknowns using basic arithmetic operations like addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. From our experience, the best way to remember the numbers is to keep repeating them in your mind or whispering them softly, just like when someone tells you their phone number and you try to hold on to it before it slips away. In the complete practice package, you'll have four practice modes to choose from, allowing you to gradually adapt to this format and sharpen your skills at your own pace. By the way, if you're finding this video helpful, hit that like button and subscribe to support the channel. It helps us create more useful content to help you succeed in your career. All right, moving on to the next subtest, where things start to get really tough. In the spatial relationship test, you'll see images of a large and a small aircraft. Your task is to determine the small aircraft's position relative to the large aircraft from a specific viewpoint. At first, you'll assess from the cockpit of the large aircraft, meaning you see what the pilot would see. But when an eye symbol appears, it signals a viewpoint shift. Now, you must reassess the aircraft's position as if you're sitting in the control tower, looking directly at the large airplane. And here's the real challenge. On the actual test, these images change every two seconds. 
we recommend starting at a slower speed, labeled as beginner, in the practice package. Since the fast pace can feel overwhelming at first, this mode helps you build accuracy and confidence before increasing the difficulty. Okay, time to move on to the final gamified section, the ATC Collision Simulation. In this simulation, you'll monitor multiple aircraft on a radar screen, represented as moving circles with numbers. Your task is to prevent collisions by identifying and removing potential conflicts. You'll do this by pressing the numpad number that corresponds to the circles about to collide. When you press a circle's number, it disappears from the radar and the collision is prevented. But here's the tricky part. Some rounds have no collisions at all. In these cases, you need to recognize it as quickly as possible and press zero on your numeric keypad. As the simulation progresses, the complexity ramps up. More aircraft enter the airspace, moving at different speeds, making it harder to track potential collisions. But that's not all. Intermittently, you'll also need to solve math problems that appear on the screen, testing your ability to juggle multiple tasks under pressure. Preventing collisions is your first and most crucial priority, so always stay alert. If you want to tackle the math questions, only do so after ensuring all collisions are avoided. Oh, and one more thing. How are your numpad skills? In this section, and the other gamified sections, you'll need to use the numeric keypad on the right side of your keyboard. Keep in mind that your eyes will stay fixed on the screen the entire time. To avoid mistakes and save valuable seconds, make sure you're comfortable with touch typing. And if you're using a laptop or a keyboard without a numpad, no worries. You can get an external one for under $9 on Amazon. I've added a link in the video description. All right, these were the four interactive gamified sections of the air traffic controller test. Now, we move on to the final three subtests. The first subtest we'll cover is the logical reasoning test. In this section, you'll have 18 questions and 20 minutes to complete them. The most common question types you'll encounter are seating arrangements and syllogisms. Additionally, there will likely be a few chart and graph questions. This subtest is considered extremely difficult since you're not allowed to use scratch paper, you can't leave an answer blank and return to it later, and you'll get penalized for not answering all questions. Want to try a sample question? Go ahead and pause the video, give it a shot, and then drop your answer in the comments below. Did you get the answer? I'll walk you through the step-by-step -step solution on our dedicated webpage. You can find the link in the description and pinned comment. Up next is the only untimed section of the test, the personality inventory. This subtest is designed to evaluate key traits essential for success as an air traffic controller, including decision making, stress tolerance, and interpersonal skills. You'll have 108 questions, each grouping three statements together. Your task is to select which statement is most like you and which is least like you, making the third statement neutral. Want to try an example? Go ahead and drop your answer in the comments. Let me know which statement you picked for most like you and which one for least like you. One of the biggest myths about personality tests is that there are no right or wrong answers. But let's be clear. This test is used for screening purposes, not just as a fun personality quiz. It definitely has right and wrong answers. But what responses should you choose to answer correctly? First, think about your work behavior, not just your general personality. More importantly, understand what characteristics are required for the job and answer accordingly. While answering, always keep in mind the FAA's values and the preferred traits of an air traffic controller, such as staying organized, remaining calm, and handling high-pressure situations. All right, now it's time for the last section of this long test, the Reading Comprehension Subtest. In this section, you'll read six passages, each followed by three questions. That's a total of 18 questions to be answered within 20 minutes. Your answers must be based solely on the information provided, not on your prior knowledge or assumptions. Check out the following sample question. And as before, drop your answer in the comments below. Believe it or not, we've now covered all the test sections. Thanks for sticking with me until now. If your test date is coming up soon, make sure to practice as much as possible with the time you have left.
If you haven't scheduled your test yet, check for the latest available slot to give yourself more time to prepare. But don't wait until the last moment. If you experience technical issues and need to retake the test, there might not be any available dates left. Visit our dedicated air traffic skills assessment prep page to access a comprehensive and realistic practice package for all seven test sections. You'll find the link in the description and pinned comment below. Have any questions about the test? Drop them in the comments section or send us an email. We're happy to help. And if you haven't already, hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. It really helps us keep creating great content to support your career goals. Now go crush that air traffic controller test. I believe in you.